Welcome to our book fair. So it has been a while. It has been since spring of 2019 that we were able to have a book fair at Lake Norman Charter Elementary. Um, our move in fall 2019 kept us from having one that fall. And then obviously everybody's aware of what happened spring of 2020. Um, but now we're back. We're in person. We can have our spring 2021 book fair. And we are so excited. Um, we do recognize that this is a different time still, though, and so we have multiple shopping options. If you are an in-person learner, you can shop in person. We will have the book fair here at school. If you are an online learner, you can shop the book fair online. If you are an in-person learner and want to shop online, you can do that as well. So you can either shop in person, online, or you can do a combination of both. Um, the kids are really excited about the online feature that we have this year because they recognize that people want to buy them books that are not located close to here. And we are having some volunteers into the building now, but we're not having as many people come in as we have in the past. So I've had kids ask, can my grandparents come and shop with me? Because typically they do. And we are not having people come shop with um, classes this year, especially our second through fourth grade. They don't need assistance in shopping, so we're not going to have volunteers in helping them shop. Our younger kids, we will have some volunteers in helping shop. Um, but it won't be like grandma coming to shop with you. And so the online option is wonderful. Not only do we have the online option, but students now have the capability to create an online wish list and send that list to anybody that wants to purchase them a book. Um, just like our teachers make wish lists, and that's a plug. Please go check out your teacher's wish list. They need some books in their classroom. Um, I also have a wish list under my name, uh, Whitney Whitfield, for our media center. And our media center is in desperate need of books. I haven't been able to do a book purchase in a while because of various reasons. But one being, we just need the money right now. And that's okay. Um, we're surviving COVID. And that's priority number one. Um, but if you do have a moment and want to donate a book to the library, if you shop for my wish list, it does just that. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to show you all the cool stuff we have available in our online book fair. If you, like I sent out on the email or your teacher sent you an email earlier with information about the book fair on there, it said, if you want to skip the Bitmoji classroom and go straight to the digital portion, it takes you right here. I'm going to click into that in a moment. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you some of the other things we have around here. If you're ever asked for a book fair code, you shouldn't be asked for our e-fair code, but if you are, um, here is our e-fair code. Over here is just that um, paper flyer, if you would like to take another look at the paper flyer. Title talks right here, if you want to dig in a little bit deeper about some of the books that are offered through the book fair, click on title talks. There are authors talking about their books. There are um, some book trailers that you could look at. You can look at some reviews of books. Some good information here. Shelf stuff is what my kids typically like to find when I do my Bitmoji boards because shelf stuff has the games. They always are looking for the games that I have linked. Um, there are games hidden here. There are also authors talking about their books, which I love. Um, so you can go there to find out a little bit more about some of the books. But yes, that's where the games are hidden. And I don't want us to forget right here, gift cards are available. So if you're like me and you don't want to send your kid with cash to school because I know both my children and both of them would do something with their cash other than <laughs> get to book fair with it. It would drop, it would fall, it would something. And cash doesn't have your name on it, does it? Um, so I would purchase them a gift card to send to school with them. So purchase the gift card, you can print it out and it has their name on it. So if some chance a gift card goes by the wayside, we can find it and we know who it belongs to. We also know your students. So if someone comes with a gift card, we will be matching their name to that student on the gift card. Um, so if you would like to buy a gift card, that option is available. You also can share the gift card purchasing option with um, grandparents or anybody who might want to get your student a summer reading present. Um, gift cards are awesome gifts, especially for those you know rising kindergartners and fourth graders that are leaving the school. I have one of both. Ah, it's like a big year. Um, 
But yeah, we all want to do something special for those who are just kind of like moving on to big things, like leaving kindergarten or leaving fourth grade. And promotion for any grade, it's a great gift. Um, but now let's go ahead and look inside the book fair. I'm changing tabs up top instead of clicking, but if you click on the board, it takes you to the book fair. The reason I changed the tab up top is I'm having to go in a different way than I normally do since I am the one hosting the book fair. My login looks different. This is what your login will look like. When you click on that, it'll take you right here. And we've got the home tab, the wish list tab. And if you would like to watch your order status, you can do that too. You could scroll down and just start browsing books. If you prefer, you can browse by the category. Um, further down, you can see all of the staff recommendations. If you click into the book and click see details, at the top, you will see who has recommended the book. It says school staff recommends this book because cacti need hugs too, Miss Whitfield. Ah, that was one of my recommendations. You can read more about the book here if you would like. The price of the book, you can add it to your cart or add it to your wish list. So if your student wants to create a wish list, as they're shopping, they create, uh, they click that blue add to wish list button. And at the very end of the wish list, there is a button that says share wish list. And you can share it um, through email. You can share it by copying the link. So if they're doing it on your phone, maybe you give them this link and they shop the book fair on your phone, you can copy the link and text it. Um, it also gives you a code. So at the very top, here, should I just add to wish list? Adding, it's in my wish list. I'm gonna scoot over here so you can see. Whoa, there we go. See this little star up here? I'm gonna click into this star and you'll see my wish list. I can click share for my wish list. And then you can see all the ways that I can share it. If you want to print the wish list and send it in with your child, you can do that too. If you would like to go and look through the wish list, uh, look through the fair online. Now, sometimes we run out of things in person we can order them for you for sure, but um, I wouldn't make my child feel locked into a printed out list just in case they got here and they saw something else that was really cool and it wasn't on the printed out list. If you want to do that to help them, that's great. I think sometimes they get a little more stressed out though when they feel like they have to stick to the list. But if that is something that you want, we can help them stick to that list. I'm going to move my head because under here where it says share your wish list code, J-E-D-D-9-4-6. -D -D okay, so that's the code for this wish list. Now check this out. If I come over here, so I write that code down. So you can email it, copy the web address, write this code down or print it. If I come over here to view wish lists, it's gonna show you a drop down box of all the teachers in our school have made who have made wish lists. So this is where you go and shop for your teacher. But up here, I gotta move my head again. <laughs> Up here where it says view another wish list, that's where you enter that code. And if you give that code to anyone, a grandparent or whatever, they can go on and they can see that wish list and then they can make a purchase um, directly from the wish list, which I think is great since we are so spread out and, you know, not all together right now, but still like to do things for each other. That is an awesome function of this fair. Um, if you go home, it takes you back here where you can browse by category. And that is pretty much our book fair in a nutshell. Um, we are so grateful that you are taking the time to check out our fair. Um, we really hope that you guys will take advantage of this. This is a huge fundraiser, not only for um, our library, but it really helps our classroom teachers as well with us helping to stock their classroom libraries and our students have books to read for the summer. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. If anybody has any questions, please reach out to me. And um, again, thanks for checking out our online book fair.